Hi, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here, and today we'll be looking at global EV sales numbers from November. So let's get straight into it. As usual, all content in this video is our opinion only, and we do not recommend buying or selling any financial instruments. During October's episode, I covered in detail how Tesla plans production over a quarter, in which they manufacture cars for Europe over the first 6 or 7 weeks, which gives the impression that sales are down for the first 2 months of the quarter, and then we see really massive delivery numbers in the final month of each quarter, as the majority of vehicles are delivered all at the same time. If you want to know the details, check out the October report. But here's Elon as to why Tesla doesn't report monthly delivery numbers. Part of the reason why we don't release the monthly deliveries number is just because like, it varies quite a lot by region, and then the media tends to read all sorts of nonsense into deliveries. And so like, you know, we'll have like a thousand cars reach a country one month and none the next month. And then people, or, or like a like hundred the next month trickle in or something because those were the numbers that were registered in one month versus the next. And people say, oh, wow, Tesla sales dropped by a factor of 10. It's, no, it's like the boat arrived in January, <laughs> okay, there was, and not all the cars got registered in January, and some got registered in February. And then in March, it's back up again. And so that people read in all these things which are, they, they assume deliveries are a proxy for demand, which is not the case. So keep Elon's words in mind going forward. Anyways, let's get into some numbers. In the US, things seem to be business as usual, with 10,500 Model 3s delivered. We can also see that the Model X is outselling the Model S by a significant amount again, so it will be interesting to see how the Model Y will affect Model X sales in 2020. One car missing from the chart is the Chevy Bolt, as we'll have to wait until the December report to get those numbers. While the Audi e-tron has had a slight increase in sales, but 621 sales in the month of November still shows that Audi is struggling and proving to be no competition at all for Tesla. When we look at Model 3 sales in the first two months of Q4 compared to Q3, we can see that delivery numbers are down by 7,100 over the same time period. So what's going on here? And the answer is the Netherlands. In November, there was about 4,000 deliveries, and get this, in December, my sources are reporting that over 10,000 Model 3s have already been delivered to port, with more ships docking as we speak, meaning the total deliveries could be in the range of 11 to 12,000 for the month. If this is the case, then 30,000 Model 3s could be delivered in the Netherlands in 2019, making it the largest market outside of the US. And the reason for this is that the government is providing businesses with generous incentives for electric company cars under 50,000 euros. Also to note that the quantities of Model 3s being delivered to the Netherlands are so large that they are not even being sent to dealerships, but instead just parked on the dock, with customers literally coming in, signing one document and driving away. So it's amazing to see demand so high in a country with 5% of the population of the US. The other European country that is taking large amounts of Model 3s is the UK, with November proving to be another strong month. Since July, the average monthly deliveries have been 1,600, and if I extrapolate those numbers over 12 months, the UK would be on pace for 19,000 yearly Model 3 deliveries, which would make them the second largest European market behind the Netherlands. But stay tuned, as in the next episode, we'll review how each European country fared in 2019. The final country to mention is China, and the Model 3 was the fourth best-selling EV for the month of November. And looking at the 2019 numbers, it still blows my mind that Tesla was able to achieve its third best month of the year, which shows you just how strong demand is, even as the Shanghai Gigafactory is about to start delivering Made in China Model 3s. Not to mention, while counting Model 3s in the car park, I was able to work out that Tesla hit a production rate of about 1,250 Model 3s back on December 5th. And while the car park outside the factory is currently full, it actually makes it impossible to estimate any production estimates with any certainty. However, there are still some clues in that trucks are taking completed vehicles away to what I could only imagine to be delivery centers across the country. So I can't wait for official deliveries to commence, so I can start to bring you some more detailed reports out of China in 2020. So that's all for today, but stay tuned for the next report which will be a big one as Q4 numbers will be available. Also a huge thank you to Stefan for the information that you have provided. And thank you to all the viewers, subscribers and Patreons for supporting the channel. On a final note, the seventh episode of the Tesla documentary series, the year of 2016, should be released before the end of the year, covering the autopilot incidents, Solar City, the launch of the Model 3, Faraday's Batmobile competitor, just to name a few things that will be covered. So till next time, 
be safe, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys soon.